requested by the mayor's warden, the mayor warden, some other officials here in Southern Health, uh, and um, your colleague, uh, the, the health minister, has deferred to you. So, what, given that there is an additional retail restriction here and now an additional quarantine restriction, what additional specific resources on either the enforcement side um, or the uh, collection side for the, for the people who've already received fines, is there going to be for um, communities in Southern Health where they're having adherence issues? Well, I'd say that those, those enforcement resources are in place, as you know. We have more than 3,000 uh, enforcement officials across the province who are designated, trained, and out there actively enforcing the uh, COVID uh, restrictions. Uh, this includes RCMP, police, bylaw officers, conservation, LGCA officers, and many, many more. And as you know from looking at those weekly statistics, the number of tickets and the number of warnings is continuing to climb. As a matter of fact, from the baseline in early August, that number of tickets has continued to climb. And I would say there is that correlation between the cases and the enforcement issues. I mean, as the case numbers go down, things do settle. As restrictions increase, so does the, uh, the obligation and responsibility to enforce. So I would first of all say that is happening. I would tell you secondly, it's happening dynamically. That we are both uh, making sure that we are out in all communities uh, to make sure that there is compliance with the rules, but clearly where there are hot spots, that means that we must additionally be responding. I cannot give you operational details of how that occurs because it would be unhelpful uh, as the Justice Minister, but I can tell you that those uh, senior leaders who are charged with that responsibility are constantly assessing. They're also taking into account uh, where there are complaints uh, of infractions. Uh, and uh, when it comes to the second part of your question, uh, yes, it, it is important that people actually then do pay their fines. But remember, of course, that when we are assessing tickets, uh, people do have that right within our system to have their day of court in, in court. And if they choose to contest the charge against them, they obviously do have that right. What do you say to the notion 